today I'm going to talk just a little bit about a plugin that makes SEO, search engine optimization, for your WordPress website really easy. Now I'm not saying I'm an SEO guru, but I'm going to show you how you can help your pages rank better without too much effort. The first thing you're going to want to do in your WordPress website is go to plugins and go to add new. You're going to do a search for SEO Yoast. And then you'll click search plugins. The fourth one down is the one we want. It's called WordPress SEO by Yoast. Mine says installed already because I've already installed it. If you haven't, click install now and follow the prompts. Okay, once you have it installed, you will see an SEO tab over here on the left. Go ahead and click on that. And here are the general settings for this plugin. You can watch a tour if you want. I suggest doing so. In general, you can leave the default settings as is and use this right out of the box. The thing that I would probably add is I would click on this social link here and I would click this box, add my Facebook URL, and then I would click this box and add my Google Plus URL and then click Save Changes. Other than that, this plugin is mostly ready to use right out of the box. Now, if you go through the settings and you have questions about how they work, go ahead and ask in the comments and I'll be glad to let you know. But for now, I'm going to write a post and I'm going to use the tools that this plugin provides and show you how effective it can be. So let's go ahead to posts and then click add new and we'll start a new post. Now, if I scroll down, you can see underneath here that there's this big box, WordPress SEO by Yoast. It has general, page analysis, advanced, and social. I'm going to explain to you how this works. I'm going to call the post, I hate my web host. Now, I don't really hate my web host but that's what I'm calling it anyway. I'm trying to pick a keyword or a key phrase that's kind of unique that if people search for it, they can actually find it in Google. If you use a keyword like free website or something very common like that, it's highly unlikely that your site will ever rank because there are so many people in the world using that exact same keyword. So I'm gonna use I hate my web host as my keyword. I'm gonna scroll down here and my focus keyword is gonna be I hate my web host. And it tells me right here, it's in my article heading, yes. And they give me a green one. It's in my page title, yes, one time. My SEO title is here. I can leave it as this, or I can add to it. So I'm gonna add to it. Because Yoast recommends that your SEO title be 40 characters or more. I'll show you that in a minute. I hate my web host, and then I'll put in parentheses, not really. And I don't know if that's 40 characters or not. I guess we'll find out soon. Then I'm going to write my meta description and I'm going to use my keyword again. I hate my web host. So this down here tells you how many characters you have left. It tells you here the meta description will be limited to 156 characters. I have 57 characters left. If this is too short, I'm going to get uh, knocked in my score. So I'm going to say, I'm going to write a little bit more. Now I've gone ahead and filled this out just a little bit more. Uh, I've actually used all my characters and I used variations of my keyword. I hate my web host. They hate their web host. Why folks hate their web host. So it's good to have variations of your keyword uh, in your content and in your meta description. So now I have to write my post. But before I do that, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click save draft so I can see the score Yoast is going to give me on this post so far. Look here. SEO is poor right now. And I can click check or I can scroll down and click page analysis. Okay, so it tells me here what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. Let's look at what I'm doing right. I've never used this keyword before. That's good. You don't want to reuse a keyword over and over. My meta description is good, but it gives me a couple suggestions to make it even better. It tells me that the page title contains the keyword and phrase at the beginning, which is good. And if it's not at the beginning, it'll tell you that your title contains the keyword phrase, try to move it to the beginning. And the meta description contains the primary keyword, but I'm not using subheadings. Uh, the keyword phrase doesn't appear in the URL. Uh, the page title contains 31 characters, which is less than the, min than the recommended minimum of 40 characters. No outbound links. The keyword contains stop words. I don't worry about that too much. Uh, no images appear in the page. The keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy, and there are zero words contained in the body copy. This is far too low. 
Okay, so I'm gonna work on this post and then we're gonna check it again after I do a little bit more work on the post. So I'm gonna categorize this page under WordPress. And I'm gonna uncheck here. That's not really important to this tutorial. And now I'm gonna start my page with, I hate my web host so much, do you? And I'm gonna make this a heading. Let's do an H3. So that's good. What I've just done now is I've put my keyword at the beginning of my page, so in my first paragraph, and I've also, I've also put my keyword in a heading tag. So that's good. Let's click Save Draft, and now scroll down and look at my SEO score. Okay, look, I have more green dots now. The keyword appears in the first paragraph of the copy. That's good. And I've used it in a subheading. That's good and maybe I can use it in more subheadings. So I'm gonna start writing this post and I'm gonna pay attention and I'm gonna to try to use the keyword I hate my web host and variations of I hate my web host throughout my copy. So here I go. So I've gone ahead and I've written this article. I've used variations of the keyword I hate my web host throughout the article. I used it in my first heading and I've used it throughout the article in different variations. People hate their web host. I do not hate my web host, but I have hated many web hosts and, and then I use regular language throughout my posting. I make sure it's written well, but I keep including variations of I hate my web host throughout my writing. For instance, I hated that web host. I hated that web host more than I hated the first one. If you don't want to find yourself saying I hate my web host, I use the word hate. I use the word web host. So as you see, I, I sprinkle that throughout the text a lot. So there we go. There's the post I've written. Now, let's go ahead and click save draft up here on the upper right and then we'll scroll down and we'll look at my page analysis look we have a lot more green buttons than we did before we still have some orange ones and some red ones but we're doing well look at this the the copy score is 78.7 in the flesh reading ease test that's good google likes that there's outbound links that's good there are subheadings that's good now I should use the keyword phrase in the URL for the page, but I'm not using it because this plugin strips out stop words from keywords. So I believe I, yeah, I is a stop word and my is a stop word. Now in the settings of the plugin, you can stop it from doing that, but I don't mind. I'm gonna just not worry about that one. Uh, the page title contains 31 characters. It's less than the recommended minimum of 40. So I'm gonna update my page title. Not this title up here, but the SEO title. I'm gonna click the general tab here and my SEO title down here. I want it to be a little longer. So I've added a little bit here and I'm using some more of the same wording, web hosts, and that's good. So now I'm gonna click save draft and then I can click check here or I can scroll down and click the page analysis. So now it's telling me with a red dot, which means it's a little more serious, that no images appear in this page. Consider adding some as appropriate. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to the top here and I'm gonna put in my little image that I always put in. I'm gonna click add media here. I'm gonna put this little guy right here in there. I'm gonna change the alt text to, I hate my web host. And then I'm going to click insert into post. And now I'm going to click save draft again. And then I'm going to check my SEO. It says it's good now, but I want to make it even better. Okay. The keyword contains a stop word and the keyword phrase does not appear in the URL. And that's because my keyword has stop words and Yoast plugin strips out the stop words. So I'm not going to worry about that. The only thing I can do is improve my keyword density. I have the keyword in there four times and Yoast is telling me I should improve my keyword density. So I'm gonna to try to find a way in this article to say I hate my web host at least a couple more times. Okay, so I added my key phrase at least once more. Let's go ahead and click check. And my keyword density is still low, but I can't really include that keyword anymore without making things sound unnatural. So I'm not gonna do that. But this is pretty good. It would be great if all of these were green, but for this one they're not. And I'm okay with that. Um, the light yellow and the orange 
means that these issues are not as serious as the ones with a red circle. And you can see that my SEO is good. I have a green dot here for this page. So I like it and I'm going to publish it. Now I'm not guaranteeing that this page will show up in Google's search results for the key phrase, I hate my web host, but I'm hoping that it will and I've done everything I can to make sure that it will. I really do like this plugin because it teaches you the things that search engines are looking for to help your site rank better. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do a search uh, in a week or two for I hate my web host and let's see if this page ranks for that key phrase. One other thing that I want to say is when you're writing a page try to choose a key phrase that is not commonly used. Try to corner the market on key phrases that people might use but not that often and then you're much more likely to rank in Google or other search engines for that specific term. Good luck and I hope you found this tutorial useful.